Welcome back. Let's play some 10 minute games here on Jogi Wars. So, it's been a long time. I'm not fully sure that I remember all my openings, but maybe that won't matter. We'll do our best. We'll remember to activate the Rook and the Bishop without making it super easy for the opponent to do the same. And hopefully that'll be good enough. Good luck. Now, I did play some pretty silly games on Lee Shogi as of late, so I might try some interesting opening ideas. Um, most of these games I've played on Lee Shogi have been against... Um, the level one bot just playing around testing it out since uh, they've released updates to that bot um okay that's legal um let's build this let's build our favorite castle even though other openings may be possible. Um, this is curious. So I've blocked my rook with this pawn. Um, and with the bishop. However, I'm anticipating that some of this is going to unravel quite quickly as the opponent's trying to build an attack down this file. Um, I think the catch they'll run into, though, is that I can push on this file. And I don't know if they intend to keep this gold here forever to protect against that possibility. Um, interesting. What's this? Okay. Interesting. Um, I think it's useful for me to try to make some tactics out of the situation. even though I don't see all the consequences. I don't think my position is unsound. So, yeah, this is aggressive, this is aggressive, this is exciting. Um, but... I, I can shuffle my rook over one, and then I've got pressure on the same file. I'm not sure, even with a pawn drop, the opponent doesn't break in. So I'm not sure what they're doing. Uh, doesn't make sense for my rook to be behind my silver and pawn, so we'll put the rook on the open file. Although it's not completely open. But yeah, the opponent's playing pretty aggressively here. And I'm curious what their next idea is. Maybe bishop drop here. Trying to take advantage of this open line. And maybe that would have been excellent. I don't know. Um, hmm. Interesting. Uh, we can do some fun tactics here. But there is some limit to how much fun we can have. Hmm. 
Yeah, like, clearly they're threatening this point. Oh, okay. What I can do is expand to guard both my king and this drop point. This is still flexible. Um, yeah, they defend this weakness. Which cuts out some of my nonsense. Um... Nanafun. I don't know. Like, yeah, I could try to attack on this side, but it could be hugely problematic if I tried to do that. Didn't expect that. I have a choice. I choose the violent approach. It looks interesting. Yeah, what are they going to do with two bishops that they can't already do with one bishop? Let's just check the overlay. Overlay looks fine. Yeah, overlay's got all the piece stands on it. Um, yeah, I can't even find one bishop drop. I don't know what they're going to do with two bishops that, like, they can't even do with one bishop. Also, I'm threatening gold drop. Gold takes, gold takes. So they might have to drop a pawn here, but that blocks their rook and further encourages this gold drop. Hmm. Also, I'm threatening to push on the knight's head. It's a tricky position. Also, they're Fugire. They don't have a pawn in hand, so they can't pawn drop. That took me a second. Um, so yeah, I could push this first and then push on the knight's head. Or rather, the gold drop here looks pretty nice, and then take and take. I'd love to target the king directly, but what can I do? Um, okay. Interesting. Do I support this silver? Do I block here? And the bishop takes, returns the silver, or returns the bishop. Um, if I do protect this, what they might sack anyway, but it doesn't do anything. Um, yeah, I think I just need to protect this. I'm still, well, it's messy. I didn't account for the silver advance, although maybe I just take it. Or maybe I push on the bishop's head. Probably that.
So the bishop's trapped. They'd love to drop a bishop here, but it's occupied. Um, so... Yep, they prepare a retreat. <sighs> um... Drop, work up, takes, doesn't really get much done. <laughs> Go Fun. I mean, I guess if they get a knight, they can drop the knight here. So that's maybe not my best move. Um. Oh, I guess that is legal. Uh huh. All right, let's break this up. Okay. I guess we'll exchange my rook for two pieces. That sidesteps the fork as well. What a mess. Hmm. Uh, practice. Oh, that and listen to advice from humans. There are many humans who do not listen to advice from humans. And consequently, they find it difficult to learn this game the way that humans learn it. Um, yeah, welcome. Now, there's a number of excellent tutorials and a wonderful uh, community that's growing, albeit somewhat dormant at the moment, but um, we'll wake up sometime and we'll continue doing great things when we do. Um, so... This is a tough game. Playing against some guy with a one don rating or rank. Um, and they're throwing the kitchen sink at me here. Um. Silver drop. 
king take no i have to gold takes here that's still no good um yeah that's also hurts um Sampun. all right fine we'll just drop another general to defend my king it'll be worth it somehow um There's way too much to calculate in this position. Uh-huh. All right, we're going to do the ballsy move. Take my pawn. Yeah, uh, it looks like that's how this might conclude, in fact. Many games on the site end that way. So, okay. Um, not sure what he's doing with this move. Not sure. Oh, he's just getting me to drop another pawn. Fine. Hmm. Hmm. Um. Hmm. How do I break their castle? Okay, we're just going to play on instinct here. This is wildly speculative, but maybe it's fine. My whole point of dropping all this stuff was to get my promoted bishop back here so I could use the, all my pieces against his king at once. Um, Let's see. Ippun Sanjubio. Oh, the rook's protecting the other rook. That does present some problems for this attack. Um, Ippun.
20秒Thanks for the game. Welcome. One down, two to go. Yes. That game was wild. Oh my gosh. Good luck. Oh! Okay. I'm not going to complain. I'm not going to complain. Oh my gosh. How... How... How am I supposed to do this? Crap. I forgot about that. Uh, it's fine. Maybe. Probably not. <sighs> Openings are hard. Wait, what? Seriously? Have I done this to opponents before? And I'm forgetting this opening? Because I've done some very similar things in very similar positions, but this very specific position doesn't ring a bell. Okay. That hurts. Uh, that hurts. Okay. Um... It's fine. We weren't using that rook anyway. Yeah. Well, yeah, the pawns move straight forward uh, and they capture forward. They've got this thing called a lance that goes straight forward and captures forward. A knight only goes forward, two squares and one to the side. Um, what the fuck? Oh, okay. No. Silver? Okay, they can defend this and that's already defended. Still, this is ridiculous. Um, like, unless I'm walking into mate, that's not the right move. I'm walking into checkmate, aren't I? How is that possible? It doesn't make sense. Okay. 
think my opponent just got overexcited by something. Yeah. Oh, fun. <laughs> that sounds like a blast. Yeah, there are plenty of tutorials out there. Yeah. Ah, uh, yeah. 11 p.m. That is somewhat late. Um, but yeah, a lot of the pieces just move one square in a lot of different directions. And you have this piece that's a rook and this piece that's a bishop. But um, most of the pieces don't go very far. So there's a lot of forward planning involved. Because um, it takes an eternity to get your piece wherever you want it to go. Except here, I got to drop a piece and then drop another piece, and now I'm winning their rook. So that's pretty cool. They're dropping pieces around my king during to checkmate me. And suddenly they've stopped moving. Which either means I'm a genius or something's going to happen. Oh, yeah. Uh, you can find... I do put info on my Lee Chess profiles. It says I'm around, like, Chicago. That's about as much as I put out there publicly. But, yeah. Alright, we'll take a free rook. Woo! Yeah. Yep, yep, yep. Okay, they try to drop a rook here. Nana <sighs> fun. Wait. Wait a second. Dave? <laughs> what a strange position. Okay. What's the silver doing? It's just sitting there doing nothing. That's what that silver does. Unless I'm walking into checkmate. Which I probably am somehow. Alright, that's a free pawn. As long as I don't do king takes, I think I'm fine here. Maybe they're intending to fork these pieces with the rook? Yeah, it's spooky. I'm just saying it's fine. Um, in case I live. Um, then I look all cool afterwards for having predicted the future. That is bothersome. Um, mm -mm. I hope I chose the right square. They keep, they're trying to drop the rook without consequences. Um, okay, this is just ridiculous. I don't think they expected bishop takes. If I did gold takes, they silver takes, and they can drop the gold here, and that's mate with the knight supporting the gold on my king. But this way, they're just out of pieces. Uh. 
All right, they have two pieces in hand. That's one of them. Um, Gofun. Mm hmm interesting. Um... So now they could retreat the bishop here to promote it. And then it's my turn. I keep setting traps and I keep dodging them. I don't think so. No, you cannot. Uh, Pre-move is not a feature on this site. It's fine though, my attack is making progress. Thumping.
2分30秒。Oh, this actually works. Uh, rather, the king can escape up here. I thought the king escaping to the middle would be the problem, but it's not. The king escaping this direction is the problem. But I think I'm okay. Like, I'm crushing it, obviously, but. Um... I don't see the mate. I'm much better here, but um, checkmate is so difficult. What I do see is I can win the bishop, but... The knight fork here. Or rather, maybe the knight comes up to. Sp no. Okay. Um. Okay, this gets mated instantly. No, it doesn't actually. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, the king's supporting the. Horse. Thanks for the game. Two down. One to go. Let's do it. Who am I getting next? Good luck. I'm not sure where their king's going to go. I've seen this before. No, it's not the same. In some positions, bishop 5-5 five five is amazing. But this, is, this is not one of that catalog of positions. Okay.
I just made this way more exciting than I meant to. Oops. Yeah, since there's no castling move in Shogi, you just have to do it by hand. The fuck is that? I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> this could be... This could get far more interesting than it is already. Um... Are we really doing this? Okay, we're just gonna repeat game two. Just take all the pieces and be happy. Can't say I expected this. Silver takes silver. I completely missed. Uh, it's a really huge threat in this position. Uh... Yeah, I messed up. Um, silver takes silver probably would have checkmated. What do we do now? I think I have to admit my mistake. Nana Fun. Yeah, I have to admit that I messed up here. Oh shit. That's not good. Um, that's not good. Uh, okay. It's fine. No, it's not. Alright, thanks for the game. Can't win them all. Uh, can't win them all. That might be one worth studying. So... Um, yeah, you get three games for free on this platform. We played all three and uh, got to 99.9% .9 after game two. So if I'd won game three, I would have leveled up to one Don. Um, but, you know, that means that, you know, we'll get there eventually. Just have to be patient and keep working at it. Um, so, yeah, that was fun. We'll cut the video there, so thanks for watching. See you next time.